Okay, here we are in Crusader Kings again. And yeah, different stuff going on here. So, what am I doing? I'm leading troops at Wien. Oh. I'm here with one man. I'm leading one man. Uh, that's myself. Okay. Yeah. I think the plan here is that we need to create the Duchy of Thuringen. But not yet. We have the we have the Duchy of Meissen. We also need to create Thuringen, which I believe consists of these two, de jure. Um. <coughs> yeah, yeah, these two. We need to do that, but I need to rule for ten years. So we can change the um, mm, inheritance law into probably elective. No vassal has a negative opinion of you. Because right now as it is, if I die now, my eldest son will inherit the ducal title. And probably this county. But my with the inheritance law my my next oldest son would then inherit if I if I create the duchy of Thuringen now he would inherit the other duchy the lower duchy so the main title now with Gavel kind goes to the oldest son and the lower title would go to uh, the younger one but right now we only have the duchy and the county so that means our oldest son would inherit everything that's how I I, I assume it would work I don't like I don't like Gable kind and no no one does actually it's really bad the titles of the ruler are divided among his children with the oldest getting the primary title if the ruler has no children who can inherit, the law defaults to primogeniture. You get no prestige penalty for having unlanded sons and can have a 30% larger domain. Gable kind is very popular. Is a very popular law with everyone except the oldest child. Yeah, but right now he stands to actually inherit the duchy and the county and that's what we want oh yeah our younger son will probably inherit uh, Weimar then so that's kinda okay and here we still have our arch enemy the uh, Count of Gerlach look at that he has now revo he has now ended his betrothal to the uh, Countess of Weimar who we uh, uh, we stole her title. That's a shame, I think. That, that, that goes to show how it works. What are these backgrounds on these people here? I haven't seen these backgrounds. That's interesting. Is it because they're dead? <laughs> there was a patch released uh, like yesterday the game. I haven't seen that uh, background, is it because they're dead? Or have I just missed it? Look, I have one kill. I kill killed Count Rebo of Weimar. That was the father of the young girl we deposed. I wonder what happened to her. I want to check on that. <coughs> I want to check on where the girl went. 
Here she is, the poor girl. Poor thing. Oh, she's now married, actually. To Count uh, Spitnev of Brno. That's in Bohemia, I believe. So she's actually married. The former Countess. She still has a claim. Strong claim to the county of Thuringen. Strong claim to the county of Weimar. And a strong claim to the duchy. So I hope these people won't give us any trouble. He's 24. He is... The Count of Brno. However you pronounce that. Or is he the Count? Yeah, he's the Count. She'll see, she has really been downgraded. But she's married now. She can achieve. I think we're going to check up on her time to time. Shows that uh, Duke Albert here, he has a conscience of some sort. Cherry. This character had a great time, resulting in a cherry disposition enjoyed by everyone. Yeah, much unlike me in real life. I'm not very cherry, am I? He's been having a grand hunt. He has a hunting dog that he got from his beloved half-sister here. That, that's a background I haven't seen either. Does that mean she's in a sect or something? Yeah, I think they get these uh, purple backgrounds now when they're dead. That's a nice feature, I think. That That's a kind of a nice feature. Okay. But we're in the field here. Fighting for the Holy Roman Empire Emperor. Uh, am I in the succession? Line of succession for the Holy Roman I'm in the succession with one one vote. And Kaiser Leopold is actually voting for me. But most of the guys are voting for King Hermann of Carinthia. I don't think I'll ever want to become Emperor even. I want to I, I like the ducal gameplay actually. I think being a duke is I think that's fun. I don't really want to be the Emperor. But if if I become Emperor in this game, I'm not going to say no. I'm going to try and keep it. Yeah, so we're in the succession with one vote from the Kaiser himself. So he really li loves us. Oh, he's killed three guys. I'm going to... Should I sway him to become really good pals with him? Nah. Nah. I, I'm friendly enough with him. I like my Emperor and he obviously likes me. He's 39, he's going to be Emperor for quite a bit. Still, if nothing bad happens. Two weak Claims that the, yeah we have uh, one in Brabant and we have one in Passau. I don't I don't even care about these claims. Da uh, yeah, that's down in Bavaria, and the other one is up here in uh, uh, the Netherlands, Belgium type thing here. <coughs> We're not going to. We're not going to use those. Title loss on succession. Yeah, we. I think we've seen that re already. Yeah, and that's the county of Weimar will go to uh, our younger son. That's okay with Gavel kind. So we're going to try and rule for ten years and change the law. One title can be created, and we know that's the Duchy of Thuringen. We will create that after we've. Or maybe we should create it already, actually. Yeah, but that would make our youngest son really strong. 
he'd get both Mycin and Weimar. So I'll wait. I'll I'll continue with the plan. I'll wait for ten years, then change the succession law, and then create the Duchy of Thuringen. I think that's the best thing we can do. So yeah, I've been thinking about this a bit here. I haven't played this for for a couple of days now, and uh, but uh, you always think a lot about these games. I've been thinking about getting him married, but uh, yeah. He's in no hurry. He has enough children here. She's betrothed to the king of Denmark. Yeah, and we got the alliance. She is betrothed to Prince Berengar of the Holy Roman Empire. Do you have a guardian? <coughs> Uta Ludovinga, yeah, nah, she won't, what? She won't accept that. Uh, hang on, what am I doing now? Benedicta. I was thinking also about uh, giving my viewers the chance to name the children. I've seen other Let's Plays do that, but I don't think I have enough viewers would be interested in that, so... But, if you are actually watching this and want to participate in naming children just send me a couple of names in the comments and w we'll see I want to kind of Germanic names suitable so she wouldn't accept that how about the spy master because she is on uh, intrigue how about having a My youngest, I, I'm, yeah, I'm tutoring him myself. Emma, 12 years old now. Is she our youngest daughter, I think? Yeah. She's on stewardship. Let's give her a guardian. The marshal. No, I want the steward. Oh God. Yeah. Margarete Conneworth, my daughter. Let's have her educate her own sister here. Ah, oh, such a lot to do. Vassal levies race too long, that's no problem. Ducal claims, yeah, I think I have gorlets here, but we are waiting for the troop numbers to go up. Such a lot to do. One point, we have 1.4k. He has 1.1. We could take him on now, I think, but... Uh, yeah, I could, I could hold it. I could take gorlets. And the Emperor loves me. So he won't mind, but uh, let's have our troop numbers reinforce to full strength here, I think. Yeah, we could have a lot of troops here. Oh, rally point too, oh, there's such a lot, such a lot of new stuff in this game going on uh, that I have, I like this, I don't care about China. But, uh, yeah, this came with Jade Dragon, and I haven't even uh, given it a look. Uh, but I don't care about China in this game right now. Such a lot of stuff. Let's also have a look around the world here. We are having the Muslim threat here. The Fatimids have taken over large parts of the Byzantine Empire, and the Seljuks are in southern Italy. I hope our friend the Emperor is going to deal with that soon, but as I... We're not at war right now, so I hope the Emperor is actually going to... Oh, I'm the commander, actually. That's the um, uh, retinue force, the standing army. So he's setting up a standing army and I'm commanding it. Yeah, I'm digressing again. Yeah, the Muslim threat. We need to push them out of southern Italy and... and... Uh, 
I hope we're going for the Holy Land at some point here too. The French are still in real disarray here. That's that's a pity, but kind of good for the for the German Empire. England is yeah, well, England is kind of strong, but it's having some problems with rebellions here I think yeah and diseases wrecking the entire country I wouldn't call them nations they weren't nations at this point in history uh, the nationhood kind of developed at the end of the Middle Ages uh, but you would they wouldn't have seen Fre Frenchmen wouldn't have had any sort of uh, uh, national pride or anything during these times they w it was just during the feudal times it was just a collection of uh, minor lords and the king he had th there was absolutely no national feeling or anything for England and France I believe that national well early nationalism developed during the hundred years war at the very end of the mid middle ages for Germany it took a different path as we know nas the national feeling never really developed in Germany until very very late and when it developed in Germany nationalism well developed I mean it really developed uh, at the end of the 19th century we all know what happened world wars and stuff but yeah, <coughs> France and England were kind of, they developed their nations, a nationhood rather much earlier than the Germans and, and the Italians for that matter. Oh, I'm digressing again. I haven't even unpaused and I think I'm of, of half the video already, but that's how it is in this game. Let's see now. We have no commanders. Why not? Well, you are going to be a commander, s uh, steward, whoever you are, Friedrich von Sommerschenburg. That's quite a name. You are also g going to be a commander, the mayor of Jena. I think Jena is in Weimar. Yes, it is. Let's have a check on our council here. What kind of what kind of vessels do I have and are any of them discontent? Well this guy of course. Gerlach. Yeah, he's the only one who's actually discontent. When he grows up we're going to Adelheid von Weimar. She actually likes me a bit. This guy also likes me a bit, but he hates me. He's eight years old and he hates me. I would like him to disappear, actually. It would be kind of nice to make him just disappear. Well, I'm not going to kill a child. I'm, I'm cruel, but I'm not that cruel. I'm not evil. <coughs> Let's wait until he grows up and see what we can do with him. Let's unpause for a bit too. Your dog is growing quickly and is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose and your dog handlers praise him, praise his good character. Yeah, good dog. Hunting dog. County of Brabant from okay that we had a claim there but we don't care about Brabant. The grand hunt is over for now. This was a truly noble noble endeavor and sh and a true challenge for our martial abilities. Yes, ten prestige and we have a lot of it. We have a lot of prestige. Can we actually build something? Oh, your Marshal Meginward has come to you with a suggestion. My lord, it is my opinion that Dietpold Diet Rapportornen would make an excellent military commander. I suggest we make 
use of his talents for the good of the realm. Deet pulled. Uh, well, yeah, kinda. Uh, we actually do have a commander. Commander title, so yeah, wh well, why not? Get him in there. Yeah, this is going very, very well for Albert right now. Life is actually smiling. He's almost 50. <coughs> he lost his interest in, wi interest in women since Ida died. But I think I'm going to marry him off to some young hottie here in a minute. We'll find some suitable young lady for him but he's I wouldn't want any more children actually I think I'm good Kaiser Leopold has declared the Holy Roman Genoese to your holding war and then he goes for something like that he should be fighting in southern Italy a daughter was born to Romilda Kanewolf and Duke Dietrich the Careless Named Euphemia. Okay. My half sister. She's not married. What are you doing, half sister? She is playing around with Duke Dietrich the Careless, whoever that is. Well, she's 37 and she's unmarried. Duke Dietrich. Well, okay. Duke Dietrich. I want to know who you are. Um, yeah, that... Dietrich. No, that's not the way to find it. Who, what? Why is she doing this? She's playing around with all the guys in, in the world here. So, that's a 13 year old boy betrothed to this. Good Lord. What is she doing, this woman? And Duke Dietrich, who are you? I don't remember his title now. Duke, was it this guy? No, he had a Duke Dietrich, the... Oh uh, uh, yeah, I can't remember his bloody name now. But she's out creating ba bastards all over the place now. I should get her married, actually. Uh, to some random guy. That's my steward. Why not? Why not? Um, I should take a minus 200 hit there, but uh, I'll take it. That's my steward. Jeez. Okay, what happened now? King Thor the Chaste has declared Norwegian Holy Roman. Uh, okay, an anti-papal war again. So we are, we are being wrecked by these anti-papal wars. 
That's why we can't concentrate on the real threats. As he's growing older, I can see that Yeor Kal could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. It will require hard work and may not always be appreciated. But this is my chance to make a self-sacrifice for the sake of Yeor Kal. Okay. This one, I will take this one. He deserves greatness, go get it. Because... Because Albert has been very, it's been very important to him from the very start to groom an excellent heir. And he wants his heir to be, well, when he dies he wants his son to be better than him. So it's been very important. So he might gain the trait ambitious and lose content. Georg Karl and Duke Albert become bitter rivals. That's the downside of it. Yeah, but I yeah. But I think that's what he would do. He would give him ambitious. He would make him ambitious. I think that's what he would do, and I don't like that they become rivals, but that's what I have to do. So he's now ambitious, and he lost the content trait that I hated. Um, donation to my liege. I'm not going to do that because I'm greedy. I'm not going to donate anything. Now, where am I leaving armies now? In Innsbruck. Innsbruck. Oh, we're here. Fighting the... Bavarians. No, who are we fighting here? Is it this the Genoese war? Serene Doge. So I'm leaving the troops here now. Did we lose a battle there? Uh, may you live in harmony and contentment. We propose that Gental Doria and Cecily Canavorf should get patrol. What? Genua. We are at war with Genua. I'm not going to... No, I decline. Certainly not. I'm not going to... Make an act of treason against my emperor. Where am I now? Landek. Oh, here. I'm leading 4,000 men here. And the emperor himself is marching there. He's obviously collecting a larger army here for the assault on Genoa. I don't know why he goes for that, because I think those, those pesky Norwegians are coming in from the north. I don't know what he wants to do in Genoa, actually. Kaiser Leopold, a peace offer. Okay, the Genoa war is over at least, for some reason. Manfredo the Seducer. Okay. The Norwegians are here with 200 men. That's not going to help them. And they're coming in from the north here with 2,000. I don't think they stand much of a chance actually because the Emperor is coming up from the south there. Uh, the Lords of the Holy Roman Empire have approved the institution of the Ruler Banishment Sovereignty Law. That's good, uh, your Imperial ma Majesty will like that. The defensive pact opposing Masud Karakhanid has been disbanded. Okay, like we care. That's way out here. Who, who the bloody hell cares? 
a new realm, Sultan Masud of Guge has decided to ab abandon nomadic life and settle down in Guge. Uh, like out here. Yeah, that's, that's of such a great importance to us. I think I'm going to end, have to end the video here because our 30 minutes are at an end. And we're winning here, up here. And I'm coming here with 6,000 men as well. Okay. But yeah, a nice episode nonetheless. I thank you for watching.